Oral anti-diabetic medications. Oral anti-diabetic medications are prescribed for patients with type 2 diabetes mellitus after an adequate control with diet and exercise alone. Oral agents are not for type 1 diabetes because they need direct insulin replacement, while oral agents reduce blood glucose level by doing the following. They can stimulate the pancreas to release more insulin and increase the sensitivity of insulin receptors so that cells can take in glucose more effectively, reducing glucose level in the blood. They can also decrease the production of glucose by the liver, promote glucose excretion in the kidneys, delay GI absorption of glucose, and enhance the activity of incretins in the GI tract. Incretins are hormones released from the gut in response to food to induce insulin secretion. There are several categories of oral antidiabetics. I will go over common drugs in each category and what you need to know for the NCLEX. The first type is biguanides and metformin is the most famous one. Metformin increases the sensitivity of insulin receptors and decreases the production of glucose by the liver. It is commonly prescribed as a first-line anti-diabetic agent, especially in elderly patients because it has less cardiac side effects such as worsening heart failure. The most important NCLEX tip is that metformin needs to be held 48 hours prior to administration of contrast dye for CT scans or any procedures because metformin increases the risk of lactic acidosis, especially in those with renal impairment. Metformin can also cause transient metallic taste in the mouth, weight loss, and vitamin B12 deficiency. The next category is thiazolidinidiones. Examples include rosiglitazone and pioglitazone. Note that they both end with the suffix Z-O-N-E. Thiazolidinidiones increase sensitivity of insulin receptors. They can cause fluid retention by the kidneys, and are therefore contraindicated in patients with heart failure. Sulfonylureas is the next category that includes glipizide, glyburide, and glimepiride. Note that they all start with G, as in glucose, and end with I-D-E. Sulfonylureas increases sensitivity of insulin receptors and also stimulates the pancreas to release more insulin. For that reason, Hypoglycemia can occur with sulfonylureas, and it can also cause weight gain and increased photosensitivity. Educate patients to use sunscreen and wear sun protective clothing. It is also contraindicated in those with sulfa allergy and alcohol use should be avoided because it can lead to disulfiram like reaction. Disulfiram is a drug used to treat alcoholism that causes unpleasant symptoms when alcohol is consumed. Enzyme inhibitors include cetagliptin and alagliptin with the suffix gliptin. Enzyme inhibitors enhance the activity of incretin, but they can increase digoxin level. Alpha-glucose inhibitors delay absorption of glucose in the GI tract. Because of that, GI side effects such as flatulence and abdominal cramping can occur. SGLT2 inhibitors such as canagliflozin work by increasing glucose excretion, by inhibiting SGLT2 in the kidneys, they can cause frequent urination and genital infections.